Hello everyone, welcome back to Master Reboot. Alright, let's hope my microphone, or rather my recording software, continues to actually record my audio. Unlike the last 10 minutes of the last episode. Sorry about that, don't know what happened. No idea, I've never had that happen before, ever, not once. Audacity just decided to stop recording, I guess it was tired and wanted to take a break. Which is a very, very rude thing to do. I really don't appreciate it, Audacity. Okay. Yeah, stuff happened. And things, and, um, yeah, okay, so next thing to go to is... what? Uh, I just did... I uh, just did the park. Yeah. So next, it's the flying memory. The fairgrounds memory, or the beach memory. Let's just go counterclockwise here, let's go with the flying memory. Surprise! I'm flying. I like your hair. Please come back. I mean, please don't. Oh, I'm actually supposed... This is a stealth section, isn't it? Now, someone remind me. I think in stealth you're supposed to run up to the enemy. Okay, so I won the game, right? No. Hmm. What the hell? What? Where? Oh, there you are. I like how her footsteps sound like someone slapping a like a slab of meat against the wall. It's like th th th. All right, so I did a thing. And oh god, this game is so beautiful. Look at the motion blur. I love motion blur. Look at all of the blurs. All of them. All 20 blurs. They're so good looking. It just looks so sexy and beautiful. I love the visuals of this game. Her footsteps aren't even in sync with her actual movement. So weird. Ooh, there's another one. Oh. Well, let's be more careful. Oh god. She's gonna come, isn't she? Let's be let's be five percent more careful than I just was there. It was almost careful enough, but not quite. Okay. The other one was on the back of one of these chairs. A little bit further up. I just realized her she's a she's a doll, isn't she? You can see the joints. Ooh, a duck. Death is no longer a barrier. Alright, one more. Must be patient. Lest I lose all of the progress I've just made. Let's look at the circuit board floor. Circuits. Motion blur and circuits. Yes. And her footstep sounds just disappear when you get to a certain distance. They don't even really, like, fade out correctly. It's so weird. 
Oh, here we go. So, does it open? I'm just gonna wait. Just be patient. I want to rush, but let's not. It's a very pretty floor. If I could... Like, if you could actually buy this as a pattern for... I don't know, wallpaper or maybe just your floor or something. I would totally go with it. It actually looks really cool. Alright. I think I'm safe. Occupied. Doesn't look occupied to me. There's a duck in the toilet. Madison, David, Astrid, Sarah, Chris, June 22. Oh, Chris doesn't look very happy. Everyone else does, though. Everyone looks really happy, actually. Hmm. What the? Oh, I thought I flushed the duck. I didn't. Holy crap. I didn't think using it would cause it to explode. Uh, can I, can I go down? There we go. Oh, it's actually big enough that I can actually run inside of the vents. Man, look at this lighting, it's so good looking. Beautiful, vibrant, green. Oh, the lighting. How, how can lighting be so good? Oh. The Unreal Engine is so... good. Just so good. Of course, it's not just the Unreal Engine, it's of course the artist's use of it. But both, working in tandem, have created this incredible, marvelous beauty. Motion blur. Okay, so where am I actually going? Oh, it's like a maze, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Well, oh. Dead end. I'm apparently very close to where she's walking. I can still hear her gigantic, meaty feet slapping the ground. Oh. Oh, I better follow her. Where'd you go? Come back. Come back. Where'd you go? I want to say hi. What the hell? What the fuck was that? Are you serious? Oh, okay, I guess that was a an enemy cam and then I just died. Okay. I thought it was designed to just creep me out. I didn't know you have to actually avoid her. How do you even avoid her? Should I just look behind me? I don't even know. I don't even know. I just wanted to say hi to her, though. So rude. She's got to be all up in my face. Okay, so yeah, like, how do I avoid? Is she behind me? She doesn't appear to be coming. Okay. Is that her in the vents or is that still the one walking? It's still the one walking. Very distracting. All right, it was around here that it happened. Let's stay in the light. Beautiful blinding light. Okay. Oh, I think I need to run. 
Oh, yeah, okay, I was supposed to run, apparently. Door release. Wow, that... That is incredibly convenient. Ugh. Looks like some bizarre version of a BSOD on all these computers. <coughs> Fremel. Free mail. Madison at mysteryfoundation.com. Safe to drafts. Compose. Oh, so someone was writing. Subject regarding regarding update. Hey, Astrid. Sorry to hear the job hunt isn't going so well. I honestly thought you would have been swept up by some high-flying company by now. People really don't know what they're missing. If you are still looking by the time you get this, we are just about to advertise for new staff. As you know, we're still establishing ourselves as a company, so we won't be able to pay you a great amount, but we can guarantee your employment for at least a year. And I promise that it'll be much more fun than working behind a checkout. Give me a ring if you're interested. Mystery will be happy to have you. Speak to you soon, Madison. From Astrid at Astrid P blah 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 got mail dot com or dot co dot uk. <laughs> Regarding updates, hey hi Madison, glad to hear Glad to hear things are going well between you and David. I really have to get round to visiting soon. The job hunt isn't going so well, to be honest. I never expected it to be so difficult after university. I feel a little bit cheated, really. You would think there'd be plenty of opportunities for programmers. I don't really want to be stuck behind a checkout for the rest of my life, but at least I have a job. Hmm. I would have thought there'd be plenty of opportunities for a programmer as well. Okay. So. The Mystery Foundation runs the... The Soul Cloud. Correct? They, I guess, invented it. Or at least popularized it or something. Anyway, they seem to run it. And... I'm probably Astrid. I'm pretty sure I am Astrid. And it sounds like I work for them. Or was at least about to, but I probably did. I probably ended up taking the job at some point, because this is probably sometime in the, you know, quite a, quite a bit in the past. So I worked for them, and now I'm inside of the Soul Cloud. So what the hell happened? I wonder if I even died. Can you upload your soul even without having died? Do you have to be dead? Maybe you don't. If you're just uploading a copy of your brain, why would you have to be dead for that? Whoops. Hmm. Well, before that, let's receive another grim message. You will not conquer death. I will see to that. That must be... Saren talking. Because so far, that's the only thing that's attempted to kill me. Or impede my progress. Okay, I have a, a thing. What shall I do with said thing? Oh. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh, I'm supposed to. I guess I'm supposed to move. Is it coming towards me? God, look at how beautiful this is. I don't even care that I'm about to die. Look at how beautiful this is. Just... Oh, something just fell. But I barely paid attention to because I'm too busy looking at how beautiful this is. Look at the ground. Look at the ground. The ground that is falling out from underneath me. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh god. <laughs> uh. I still can't believe how beautiful this game is. Alright, thing's gonna fall and I'm gonna have to jump. Jump, uh, jump, jump, jump. Jesus, there you go. Oh, 
kaputt. Ooh, that thing's getting pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> it got a little bit too close there. Hmm. Do I start from the beginning? I probably do, right? Yeah, okay. Let's try that again, but without all the dying. <laughs> Come on, I know one of you wants to fall. I'm onto your tricks, pillars. I know your game, and I don't like it. Okay, I got it. I got it. Goodbye, plane. Looks like there's multiple versions of of the events. Which one's true? Were they holding hands or were they not? Were they together or were they not? There's obviously something more going on. Oh, is this what I'm building up to? I'm putting all these things into place? Childhood memory. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Five, so there's five more to go. Is that all that's left? One, two, three. Four, five, six. There's actually six. But it looks like it only needs five more. Hmm. Anyway. Moving on to the fairground memory. Rays of light. Just so beautiful. Just ignore the ghostly apparitions that are appearing in front of me. Don't look at them. And the motion blur. Actually, wait, is there any motion blur here? I don't. It seems like the motion blur is disabled here. Mm, no, I think it's still there. Hard to tell. I'm going to say this is probably saying I shouldn't go here. Yeah. Can I play? Can I play? No. That's alright, the game's rigged anyway, I would never win. Bumper Madness! Can I actually play? Wait, can I can I actually play? Oh god, look at how good the lighting is! Oh, it's so good, whoa. What the hell? Alright, apparently you can push him. 
I guess I should push them into the appropriate colored corner. Get over there. How do you think these things were covered in KY? What the hell was that? Oh, I guess I have a bunch of mini games to do again. Okay, yeah. Looks like one out of uh, six are done. Horse Racing Extreme. Out of order. This one is not. I can barely I can apparently play without even putting any money into it. Uh, I think I'm losing. Wait, is that what you get? Like you move a certain amount for each horse that's on here? How's it even a game? I think I'm going to lose. Hmm. Maybe not. I'm not entirely sure how much of a game that was. I literally just mashed E to win. Very strange. <laughs> Menu. Chips, cheesy bites, burger with re with reboot relish. What the hell is that? Burger with cheesy bites. Sides. Error. 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 There's gotta be some ducks hidden around here. Where are ye ducks? Let's go up. Ah, there's one. The Magnificent Saren. Cut my strings to find your salvation. I don't know if I want to. This place is just so beautiful. Look at the sky. So many stars. Mad O'Connell's Fun Fair. You too.
Okay, they make kind of creepy noises a little bit. Oh, hi. I love the way the light's distorted. I don't like the cries of anguish, though. The hell? Okay, let's go away from that. Ooh, pretty pile of coins. You've received one Saren token. A piece of a picture. Somebody looks very angry. I think she's moving across the screen extremely fastly. Extremely fast, but... It's so fast, I can't even tell if that's even what's happening. I don't really care. She's like, yeah, whatever. If that's what amuses you, Saren, go for it. I know there's secrets. There's gotta be secrets somewhere around here. Shot. Aw, sounded like fun. Ooh. I have no other fond desire in my heart. The fire of a funeral pyre is burning there. Burning to bring judgment upon you. Somebody doesn't like me. Duck shooter. Oh, I don't want to shoot the ducks. Can I even do it? I don't even know if I can. I don't think I can. That's good though. I don't. I didn't want to. We. Okay, I'm done. Actually, no, I'm not quite done. We. Okay, now I'm done. Now those I would love to shoot. Still don't know what's up with that. Alright, let's have a proper ride on this thing. I don't think I can get inside. Oh, there we go. Whee! <laughs> oh, I see something interesting over there. The Magnificent Saren. Please read my future. Give me a gun. Alright, I've had my fun with it. Can I put it back down? Oh, I do have to plug. Actually, you know what? They're just going into the water. They'll be fine. I'm not shooting them directly. I mean, what 
What's the proper home of a duck if not water? Okay, what else can I shoot? You. I don't like you. Screw the bottles. Seriously, there's two bottles I can't break. Oh, ne never mind. Alright, what else can I break? Jesus, that was loud. Calm down, sound effects. And crack shot. Didn't work. Uh. 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 Nope, I suck. Oh my god. Never again. <gasps> Never again will I shoot a bottle in this game. Why was that so loud? Oh my god. It's not working. My bullet therapy is ineffective. Okay, so what do I actually do? I need three more. Huh. Between sprinting and bunny hopping with a gun in my hand, this feels like Quake. No, seriously though, what do I actually do? Mm, can I go up here? Nah, there's no way up. I'm obviously missing some pretty large stuff if I have three undone. If one was undone, then I could be missing something small, but if three are undone, that's nearly half. Which means I'm missing something big. Oh, there's the rest of the picture. Wait a minute. What's on her arm? The one on the right, is that the symbol I keep finding? It's like a triangle inside of a circle with a things on the outside. I think it is. It is. Her tattoo is that. I wonder what that means. Alright, so what do what do I actually do? Kinda lost here at this point. I did read you, right? That's the other yeah. Oh, the target hunt, yeah. I forgot about you. That's going to be satisfying. Take this, Saren. Right in the head. Pew! Okay, but that still leaves two more. So... About that. Hello, my 2D friends. Two more. Two more. Hmm.
What am I missing? All right, bumper madness done. Or is raising extreme done? Mm, the tower. I don't think I did anything. I don't think I can do anything though, can I? Is this something about cutting strings? Wait a minute. Am I supposed to shoot that? <laughs> oh, gigantic target. Okay. So there's one more. Mm, there's a big slide over there. I don't know if I can go on it. I can try. Cut my strings to find your salvation. Okay, your strings. I don't think I've seen any strings. Hmm. If I get on top of the buildings. Ooh, you can. What the heck is that? I have no idea what that is. Okay, yep. Thankfully, there's a... Invisible wall here, preventing me from getting completely stuck forever. Which is nice, that's appreciated. Cut my strings. I see no strings. Let's go over here. Check the slide out. Okay, this is probably it. Well, maybe? Eh. Actually, I don't see how this is gonna help, so probably not. <laughs> That's not how you slide down a slide. That's how you jump down a slide and then break your legs. Okay, well that's not helping. So there's one more thing somewhere. Wait, what was that? Oh, I didn't even see you, you're so dark. Oh no, I can't use it, never mind. That must be what I use at the end. Hello. Trouble in Paradise. And then over on the right side, Astrid Patterson, originally part of the Soul Cloud development team and a cloud resident, has allegedly been a victim of data corruption. Ooh. Rumors about troubles in the Miss Mystery Foundation's Soul Cloud have taken a darker turn today. As previous leaks over server problems have refused to fade away, an anonymous source claims that a significant amount of resident data has been lost or corrupted. The Soul Cloud, hailed as one of the greatest inventions of this century, is accessed daily by over 2 million users in the UK alone. The results of a server crash would be undoubtedly catastrophic. No representative from Mystery Foundation has been available to comment. Hmm. Server problems, yeah. <laughs> if there's any place you wouldn't want to have server problems, it's in the Soul Cloud. Kind of important. Lost or corrupted? Some sort of a big mystery going on, but I don't know what. What am I missing? Jesus. Damn noises.
Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep looking for it, and when I find it, I will be right back. Aha! There it is, isn't it? Right there. From the other high point. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. Alright, now the lever should work, probably. Let's go give it a pull. I think the cube is trying to tell me something. I think it's saying I should... Shoot this. That's what I meant to do, but it totally ruined the sudden joke because it didn't actually break it. Thanks, game. <clears throat> anyway. God, that looks beautiful. Look at the How can it be so beautiful? I want to touch each of these glowing cubes. Look at them. I wish I'd get the stupid icon out of my face in this gun. I just want to look at them. I think I should run, maybe. No, I don't even have to. The game does it for me. Cool. Thank you. Oh. It's interesting. Okay, let's go slowly. And by slowly, I mean sprint. What the hell is that? Where'd they come from? It's like right here at the corner. I heard a squeak. Is there, is there, is there a duck? I'm mashing E. Where's the duck? I heard you. Oh, come on, I heard the duck. Ah. Oh. I need the duck now. Hold on, can I just fall off? Yeah, let me fall off. Let's do it again. All right, so it's right here at this corner, right? Okay, didn't pop up this time. Ah, I don't know. Okay. I think I found it. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. Duck, go away. Okay, I'm gonna follow the direction of the duck because it's adorable. Oh crap. Uh, I don't have to do the whole thing again, do I? Oh no, I do. Okay, no more sprinting. Nice, steady pace. Okay. Achievement unlocked, unlucky duckling. 
You troll duck. I followed the duck and you screwed me. Fine then. I guess I'll go back. This actually reminds me a little bit of Max Payne. Which Max Payne was? I think it was the first Max Payne where there's a sequence where you were running on uh, trails of blood in the darkness. You're actually standing on the trails of blood just like these lines. And you'd fall off if you went off of them. Ah, good times. Another split. Okay, I see a light over there. And this way I don't. So naturally, I'm going, I'm going to go in the opposite direction of the light. For that is the logical thing to do, of course. Ooh, crap, where is it? It's getting really, really fast. There we go. <laughs> the damn troll ducks again. It's getting really hard to follow. It's amazing, it's really, it's really challenging to navigate when you have so few frames of reference. Just these, just these lone pieces of light. And that memory looked like they were definitely holding hands and there was no question about it. Alright, fairground memory, time to do the beach memory. There's a creepy message already. God, just look at how beautiful this is. Ah. Well, let's have our spirits crushed by this message. Of doom and gloom. I am a demonic force. A force of death. You will be destroyed along with everything you hold dear. Thank you. Sandcastles with flags of ducks.
Oh. I want to go out to the boat. Actually, maybe I don't. It's got Saren on it. Yeah, no thanks. You can stay out there. Ooh, I see smoke. That's a beach bonfire. I, not much of a bonfire, actually. It's just a normal fire, but still, it's on the beach. Look at the pixely fire. That is a weird fire texture on the logs directly. Very, very weird. Play some tunes, rock out. Yeah. Oh! God rays. Look at that. Let's see, on the menu is Americano, Espresso, Latte, Mocha, Cola, Lemon, something. Is that a treasure map? Um... I think it's either saying that there's a treasure on, in the top left, or that there's a treasure map in the top left. Could it be a map of a map? Maybe. Dear Madison, thank you. Yes, I would love to be your maid of honor. I'm so happy for you and David. Can't wait for the big day. Let me know when you're ready to go dress, dress shopping. Love from Astrid. Look at that, I'm looking at the map. It even has dynamic lighting on it. It looks like kind of like it's rippling. I was trying to see if it's tied to where I'm looking in the world, but I don't believe it is. No, it's got its own independent lighting. Look at it though, though that's so cool. It really had so much more to it just to be able to see it moving. Because otherwise it would just be a static image just pasted on the screen. But the fact that it's actually, you know, changing is really, really cool. Aww. Alright, so that's obviously David. And that's gotta be Madison. I'm trying to remember exactly what Astrid looks like. I don't quite remember. Hmm. Anyway, I guess I should go to the treasure. Alright, so here's the fire pit. So the treasure should be on... Should be right about here, actually. Just to the right of the shack. I don't actually see any markings. Maybe I'm misreading the map. Maybe that doesn't mean there's treasure here. I don't know, it'd be pretty cool though. 
Whoa. Madison and David to... Callie Patterson. Please join us for our uh, engagement party. Okay, so there's Kelly and Astrid Patterson, right? They're twins. I think. If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I don't see treasure. A lone little castle. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Not even gonna try. I wonder if I need a shovel. Where would I find one though? Oh, hiding amongst the grass, huh? Whoa. Okay, that's creepy. That is very creepy. Someone seems to be obsessed with David. So the solution was to use the map on the fire and that makes the fire marks the spots and then gives you a metal detector? I don't even know. A ring that says Madison. should be... Oh, I'm actually going... Wait. I'm kind of going the right way. This way. Very close. Oh. Madison and David. Coming to the docks? Come closer! Closer! Oh, 
off into the sunset. Or into the water. That works too. Am I swimming? I am, very slowly. I suppose I should go towards the light. That looks like a... is that a submarine? Or is that a shark? Or a whale? Whoa. What the? <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. That is so cool. I'm like underneath the the water or something. I fell through it. Is there anything else here? I just want to stare at that. Look at that. So that's where David proposed. Alright, well, on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope my audio actually continued to record, and I guess if you're listening to me now, then it has. Yay! So yes, what I said at the end of the second episode, my last recording session, which is unfortunately what got cut out because it never recorded in the first place, basically what I said there at the end was that I'm really liking this game mostly for the environments, which is what I thought I would like so much about the game, and indeed it's exactly what I love about it. So far the gameplay is... Eh, it's okay. There's a lot of mini-games, so it kind of ranges between... between sometimes being pretty good and sometimes being just not very good. So, yeah, the gameplay's definitely up and down, however, there's never been a part where I'm just totally stuck. So it's never been particular, particularly frustrating. Which is nice. So it's never been too much of a... It's never been too much of a blocker to my enjoyment of the rest of the game. So that's good. Yeah, the environments are just mind-blowingly gorgeous. One of the most beautiful games I've ever seen. Incredible. But yeah, I'll save more detailed dots for... for the end of the game. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far. I certainly have, and I will be back soon.